Okay, so welcome back. Now in this series, in this uh, YouTube playlist, we've been talking about this wonderful device here, which is an Arduino Uno. It's very inexpensive and surprisingly, it has additional functionality more than a regular Arduino Uno in that it has Wi-Fi capability. So you can effectively disconnect the USB connection to your computer, move this to some remote location and communicate with your computer over Wi-Fi. So really nice. Um, the price of this is presently around five or eight dollars US. Pretty amazing. It's got a lot of functionality. And what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to focus in a little bit more on the Wi-Fi capability. And we're going to look at some of your options. So let's say you take this Arduino, you want to connect it via Wi-Fi. So you take it somewhere remotely that's maybe 100 meters or 300 feet away, something like that. And you find out, well, I can't really get a good Wi-Fi signal where I am. What am I going to do? Well, we're going to look at some of the options that you can have for increasing the range of the Wi-Fi on this device. And we can do it very inexpensively using a directional antenna. So if we zoom in on this Arduino Uno with Wi-Fi, you can see here we've got the ATmega328, which is the main microcontroller for this in any Arduino Uno. In this device, we've also got this additional chip, this controller, which is an ESP8266, and that's what allows it to communicate over Wi-Fi. And if we look down here on the board, we can see uh, this trace under the masking in the board. And this trace is the built-in Wi-Fi antenna for this Arduino. And um, it should give you a decent range but let's say that you've taken it far away, maybe you've taken it outside and you're measuring something, or you want to control something, you can't get a good Wi-Fi signal. What other option do you have? Well, if you look over here, there's this little connector and it looks like a, you know, like a coax connector. This allows you to externally connect a high gain directional or omnidirectional antenna to increase the range. Again, do you need it? Well, maybe, maybe not. So what we're going to look at is some of the options for adding an external Wi-Fi antenna that's very inexpensive to increase the range. And we're also going to talk about how does that actually work? How do you get increased range with a different antenna? So let's look at Amazon at some options we have for increasing the range with external antennas. You can see there's a lot of stuff here, a lot of external antennas that you can use. And we need to make sure that it can connect to this little tiny connector and it's called a U.FL connector. And the diameter of this is only like two millimeters. It's a little tiny thing. So we're going to have to make sure we've got something that's compatible with that U.FL. So if you look, we've got a bunch of options here. They're eight, 14, nine dollars. And most of these say U.FL. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at one of these options. It's the one that I chose, kind of tossed a coin. And it is this device here. You can get two of them for $8.60 US. And it's presumably a Chinese brand. You get two antennas, 2.4 gigahertz, which is a typical Wi-Fi range, 6 dBi. We're going to talk about what that means. Indoor omnidirectional Wi-Fi antenna. And um, as you can see, it's got U.FL connectors on it. And if you look closely, you can see these little tiny connectors. And this is the connector that goes to the antenna itself. So again, it's about $4 each because you get two for $8. So I ordered these antennas. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook them up and see how they perform. But first, what I want to do is talk about why these would increase your range. What, what is it? How do these things work that it might increase the range of your Wi-Fi? Well, if you look here, there is a, um, a little image that is included with this particular one, and it gives some application data. And it's saying if you're indoor or outdoor, again, the, the range of your Wi-Fi depends on a whole lot of stuff. So it's very variable, but this is kind of a general idea. And if you're indoor, if you're going to go 1 to 50 meters, here's the different options in antenna gains that you can look at. And a circle means it's great reception. Diamond means it's general. And X means it's poor. 
So let's say you're indoor and you want to go up around 90 meters away or 300 feet away from your computer. You want to get some good Wi-Fi range. Um, you probably want to look at something that's more like 7 to 9 dB. 8 dB is some typical range, so you might get an 8 dB gain. Um, 50 to 70, you might get 8 dB. And then if you're going to go like 50 meters or 150 feet away, um, you know, a 2 or 6 dB gain antenna might be fine. And then if you do outdoor, and we're talking 300 to 900 meters, where you don't have to worry about walls and doors and everything, it, you can get a lot longer range. So you can get, you know, 900 meters, which is um, 1,800 feet. So some huge range if you go up in the 7 or 8 dB. So what you can see is that the 9 dB antenna has a 25 degree angle and the 7 dB has a 30 degree angle and a 6 dB has a 40 degree angle. So let's take a look at what that means and how these antennas work. So to better understand how a uh, directional or omnidirectional antenna works, Let's use this analogy of what you see here, which is a flashlight, a simple flashlight. Now, what does a flashlight do? Well, its goal is to light a bulb, to emit light, and kind of focus the light in one general direction, which is, as you hold it, you want the light to come out the front so it kind of lights the direction that you're going. So how does it do that? Well, there is a bulb inside the head of this lamp and it emits light in all directions. However, you don't want light coming out the back or on the sides here. You just want it focused in one direction. So how does the flashlight do that? Well, it doesn't increase the light emitted by the bulb. That stays constant. But what it does is it has a reflector inside, a cone-shaped mirror reflector inside that takes whatever light rays would normally come out this side of the bulb and reflects them so that instead they go out the front. And the result of that is this cone-shaped emitted light coming out the front of the flashlight that's maybe 70 or 80 degree angle. And anything that would come out the back here gets instead reflected to the front. It's not increasing the light coming out of the bulb. It is just reflecting existing light so that you're getting more intense light out the front because that's just light that would go out the back that is now coming out the front. And that's really what a directional or omnidirectional antenna does. It focuses the, in our case, the Wi-Fi signal, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal in a certain direction or a range. And as we saw in this little image that comes with the antenna, um, a high gain antenna focuses most of the light into a very narrow range, in this case 25 degrees. A less gain antenna, this is 7 dB compared to the 9 dB, takes the light and emits it in a, a wider range, a 30 degree range, and the lowest gain it's lower because it reflects that 2.4 gigahertz signal into a wider range. You would use the different gains if you have a clear direction that you want to face to the Wi-Fi transmitter and receiver. And this is kind of a generalized range. And they say suitable for home use, small area. Um, if you're far away and you know where you want to send the signal, you can use this very narrow range. So. That's basically it. It's basically taking um, the Wi-Fi signal that's generally emitted in a wide range and focuses it into a very narrow range. So we're going to be using the 6 dBi antenna. So now here is our Arduino with Wi-Fi. And I've connected this uh, Wi-Fi antenna. And you can see I plugged it into the U.FL connector on the Arduino. And here is the antenna, the uh, 2.4 gigahertz 6 dB omnidirectional antenna. And what we're doing in the other series where we are building a Wi-Fi connected Arduino that is measuring the wall outlet frequency provided by the power company and sending that data over Wi-Fi to our computer, and what we're going to do is we're going to put that in a box like this and we're going to mount the antenna on back of the box so you can take this box anywhere and do 
whatever control or monitoring you want to do over Wi-Fi. And in that series, we may do some measurements on what's the resulting signal strengths. Now, if you do want to measure signal strengths, in part one of our series on this device, this Arduino with Wi-Fi, we talked about how to load an example sketch that automatically scans all the available Wi-Fi signals and prints them out and prints out the signal strength, so you can use that. Uh, you can also get a Wi-Fi signal strength app for your phone and download it for free. It gives you graphical charts of signal strength of different Wi-Fi signals, so we may do that in the future. But that's about it for this Wi-Fi antenna. Um, if you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.